I would uh, like to uh, enter my opening statement uh, for the record, uh, and I would also like to enter a document from the Muslim Public Affairs Council relating to the nomination of John Gibbs uh, for the okay. record. Without objection, I appreciate the, the brevity. I'm proud to represent uh, Michigan's uh, large, vibrant Arab American and Muslim American uh, communities, and that's why I'm concerned about some of uh, your past commentary regarding uh, Muslim Americans, and I introduced into the record earlier uh, a letter uh, from Muslim Public Affairs uh, Council expressing their concerns about your nomination as well. And they express concern that your appointment will, quote, uh, create a non-inclusive biased atmosphere in one of our most essential government agencies, uh, end of quote. So, Mr. Gibbs, do you believe that your past statements regarding Muslims will impact your ability to effectively lead a very diverse uh, federal uh, uh, workforce? Uh, Senator Peters, uh, thank you for that question, and I do share your concern that we want to have a federal workforce that is welcoming to people, regardless of their background, so that those um, who are capable are the ones who are able to uh, move up and, uh, and really serve. So I can assure you that throughout my career and throughout my life, I have never tolerated, never accepted any type of discrimination, and if confirmed as OPM director, I also would not tolerate any type of discrimination. Um, Mr. Gibbs, I've read some of the very incendiary tweets that you have sent. Federal employees, have a range of personal and political beliefs, which obviously may differ from yours. How will you defend career federal servants, such as postal workers, who face political pressure or retribution in the workplace for personal beliefs that are at odds with the president or other political leadership? Um, again, Senator, I do thank you for that question. And I do agree with you that we do not want to have any type of undue uh, influence um, operating. So let me just say that uh, during my career, I have always successfully worked with people from a variety of political backgrounds. Um, I, of course, uh, of the current 700 employees that I oversee as acting assistant secretary, I do not by any means go around asking people what their political beliefs are, but um, I have to assume that we have people all across the spectrum, and we have a very good team. I work with my team very successfully. I think it's really important to distinguish here between working together, which is obviously very important, um, and being a leader who protects one's employees uh, from political retribution. So can you give an example of a time that you protected a subordinate from undue political pressure during your federal service? Uh, again, thank you, Senator. Um, I don't know that I can uh, recall offhand um, a time when one of my subordinates was the target of political retribution. Uh, however, I can assure you that regardless of the political beliefs of my employees, um, I, do, um, I do protect my employees, I empower my employees uh, to the best job possible, and we had no issues with anything like political retribution or whatnot. So um, that is something I have not had to face, thankfully. Um, if it ever did happen, I would do what I always do. I protect my public servants, I protect my dedicated civil servants that are under my charge to make sure that they can do their job as effectively as possible, and if confirmed as director, I would do the same. There have been things that you have written in the past which have been disparaging of the uh, uh, of Islam, uh, at the same time have have uh, fostered or promoted some uh, relatively extreme, uh, if not bizarre or nonsensical um, uh, uh, conspiracy theories, uh, including the idea that leaders of the Democratic Party had participated in satanic rituals of some kind, and and. I, I wonder, do you believe those things? And, and if you do, how can those possibly be separated from a responsibility, a human resources responsibility uh, to people who, who uh, uh, represent a, a wide array of backgrounds? Uh, how, do you, how do you square such uh, unusual personal views with a responsibility to a federal workforce which is highly diverse? Uh, Senator, uh, thank you for that question, and I, I do understand your concern there. Uh, let me just say that so with regards to what you mentioned. Um, an individual wrote a book and invited in someone to a dinner. Uh, that is what we know. Um, as a political commentator, I reported on that at the time. Uh, but I'd just like to point out uh, that is something that is behind me. That is not my current role. 
Um, I can assure you that I have led in a nonpartisan fashion over the past three years during my service in the government, and I've confirmed as OPM director, I will continue to lead in a nonpartisan fashion. Uh, Mr. Gibbs, uh, I think, and you might have addressed this before I was able to, uh, to get up, uh, become part of this uh, hearing today, but I'm concerned about some of your past social media posts, uh, which contained offensive anti-Muslim and anti-Semitic rhetoric. Uh, that's clearly something none of us can condone. So, if you can, you can you sort of can you explain some of the uh, state things you've stated in the past and how how you think you can do your job if you have those um, beliefs and the impact it would have on your ability to work with others and do your job. Um, yes, Senator. Um, thank you for that question. And, and let me just say that I do share your concern about this. And um, I will just address this by saying, um, at the time, I was a political commentator, and um, and I commented on the issues uh, of the day. Um, every American has political opinions. I certainly have my political opinions and do have them. Um, uh, so that is a fact. But one thing that I can assure you above and beyond that is I have always led in a nonpartisan fashion um, and always will lead in a nonpartisan fashion. Um, I look at my track record uh, over the past three years. I've been successful at that. And I can assure you that if confirmed as director, um, I'll continue to do what I've always done which is treat people fairly as individuals and never tolerate and never allow any type of discrimination whatsoever. Uh, clearly, uh, some of the words that you have used in the past have caused harm and fear uh, for some uh, Americans, uh, even if that was not uh, your intent. So just yes or no, do you regret your part in promoting anti-Muslim sentiments? Yes or no? Um, I regret that it's unfortunately become an issue. And let me just say that, like all Americans, I have political opinions that I've expressed in the past. But I'm very proud to say that during my service in the government, I have always led in a nonpartisan manner. I've always treated people fairly, and I have never allowed any type of discrimination. So if confirmed as OPM director, I will continue that. I look on my three-year track record of that, stand on that, and build on it if confirmed as director. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.